Hi, and welcome to MicroStrategy's Mobile App Developer Academy. This course is entitled Affinity Lines and Density Maps. Incorporating geolocation capabilities into data analysis has generated a new understanding of the BI process. It provides organizations with the means to easily connect data with location-based information and perform location-based analysis, helping them achieve greater visibility and enhance decision-making in business activities. Today we're going to look at two different types of microstrategy mapping capabilities, affinity lines and density maps. Affinity lines or arcs on a map are used to display weighted network lines between important locations. The use case that we'll look at for affinity lines is a mobile app that displays airline flight routes from a selected city. We're going to start with a document that already has a map widget configured. To display affinity lines on the map visualization, we must add a second grid to the document from a different data provider from the primary data set. The primary data set is the report that creates the map visualization. The secondary data set is the report that draws the affinity lines between the map markers. The secondary data set also determines the appearance of affinity lines and must contain at least two metrics. The first metric determines the thickness and the second the color of the lines. The secondary data set can be hidden behind the primary. Next, we'll open the Map Properties Editor from the primary data set. Under Affinity Line Options, select the Display Affinity Lines Arcs checkbox. Additional options are now displayed. The location is determined with an attribute form, so we don't need to choose a lookup attribute. For Select Affinity Data, choose the report that is your secondary data set. This report should contain data for both the origin and destination of each affinity line. Select either arcs or lines for your visualization and the maximum line thickness you want the arcs or lines width to be. Then click OK to save your selections. You can now see that all routes are displayed with affinity lines on the map. The next type of map we're going to look at are density maps also called heat maps, and those help users see patterns in their data. The use case here we're going to use for this course is a mobile app that shows the geographic concentration of users across the world. Again, we're going to start with a document that already contains a configured map widget. Open the Map Properties Editor, and under the Marker Style mode, select the last option, Use Density Maps. Then you can select the color theme that should be used for the density concentrations. Under Select Location, select whether the density location data is coming from an attribute or an attribute form, and if it's expressed as a latitude and longitude or as a point. If you are using an attribute form, you need to select the attribute that contains the attribute form. Then you select the source of the latitude and longitudinal values. Selection display form determines which value is displayed when the location is tapped on the mobile device. If you only want one marker to appear on the map when multiple rows in the report have the same latitude and longitude, select for repeat rows display only one marker for the same location. If you choose to display only one marker, all the rows with the same latitude and longitude are presented in a grid when you tap the marker. If you choose to display multiple markers, the markers are stacked on top of each other and arrows appear that let you page through the information for each separate marker. Then click OK to close the Map Properties Editor and save your selections. You can now see on the map where the largest concentrations of users are located. You can zoom in on a density area by spreading with your fingers to see individual locations, or you can use the selector tool to select one or more regions on the map and then see each location for those selected regions. And that's a wrap for this MATA course on affinity lines and density maps.